Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson and Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley demanding answers and an investigation into alleged whistleblower retaliation. And now against veteran IRS employees, the senators sending letters to Department of Justice Inspector General Michael Horowitz, Treasury Inspector General Russell George, and IRS Commissioner Daniel Werfelt. Joining me right now is the man himself, Wisconsin Senator, a member of the Senate Homeland Security Budget and Finance Committees. He's also the ranking member of the Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations. Ron Johnson is here. Senator, always a pleasure. Thanks so much for being here. Good morning, Maria. So we've been talking a lot in the past few weeks about whistleblowers at the FBI and the DOJ. You're looking at the whistleblowers at the IRS. Tell me what you've learned. Well, we've learned that a deputy commissioner sent out an uh, email to uh, the employees at, at IRS talking about protected disclosures and, and their rights, but he completely left out the anti-gag language that uh, informs them that they have every right to uh, whistleblow to Congress. And that's an incredibly important uh, feature. Uh, we need more whistleblowers. We are seeing corruption at the highest level of so many different government agencies, and we need people with integrity to step forward and tell Congress what is happening, because the American people are losing faith in these governmental agencies, and, and I don't blame them whatsoever. I, I don't trust them. Yeah, it's uh, pretty disturbing when you see what's going on after the Twitter files, where we learned that up to 1,000 people within government, different agencies, were working with Twitter employees to censor free speech, to amplify lies and suppress truth. Where would you say the most corruption is right now in government? Well, that's hard to say. We, we've seen it in federal health agencies, certainly federal law enforcement. But, you know, the, the, the history of it, is, from my standpoint, starts with uh, Lois Lerner uh, when Obama weaponized the IRS against Tea Party groups. And then you had the FBI exonerate Hillary Clinton and that same cast of characters that exonerated her. Uh, they're the ones that were involved in the corrupt Russian collusion hoax, uh, which resulted in the Mueller a special counsel, and then, of course, the, the sabotaging of the Hunter Biden laptop, uh, the scheme to downplay any derogatory information on Hunter Biden. Now we've got a, a whistleblower that came forward to Senator Grassley's office saying the FBI knew as far back as 2017 a credible human resource uh, uh, was reporting that about a $5 million payment to then Vice President Biden to change policies for some business or some entity in Ukraine. So th this is incredibly troubling. Uh, the deep state knows what it's done, what it's done wrong. Uh, they know how to hide the ball. That's why we need other whistleblowers with integrity that understand some of the wrongdoing to come forward to Congress. The American people deserve the truth. And unfortunately, Congress's oversight uh, abilities and capabilities have been really neutered over uh, the last few decades because administrations realize we have very few enforcement uh, mechanisms. So I'm glad to see James Comer going after uh, Direct Director Ray insisting that he turn over that 1023 on that one whistleblower. Uh, we need these agencies to come clean. They need to start being responsible to the other co-equal branch of government, Congress, that has responsibility to investigate just as much as the Department of Justice has the, the uh, responsibility to investigate. This is all very disturbing. The House Oversight Committee meeting tomorrow to vote on the contempt of Congress charges against FBI Director Christopher Wray. Tennessee Congressman Oversight Committee member Tim Burch had joined me earlier in the show uh, to discuss that. Here's what he said. Watch this. To me, it's, it's kind of damning of the Justice Department to, to keep delaying releasing these things to us. If these departments refuse to play ball with us, we need to start cutting their funding. They're obviously... Uh, um, putting justice on the back burner and allowing um, their own personal political beliefs to, to, to run the show. And, se and, Senator, this is what I'm questioning, the power of the purse uh, that Congress is supposed to have. We've talked about this a lot, uh, that the only lever Congress really has is to hold back funding. But you know what could happen. Chuck Schumer could sit on bills, and then they, uh, as, a par as a result of this new debt agreement, uh, that uh, funding goes back to this year's level with that 1 percent cut. Your thoughts on whether or not Chuck Schumer can blow it all up, an agreement, in terms of enabling the House to have the power of the purse? Well, you understand how horribly dysfunctional and broken our appropriation process here. We, we don't do appropriation bills anymore. We wait till three, two, three months of the fiscal year and then pass a massive omnibus, and there's very little control we can exercise there. So the way we need to hold these folks accountable is through exposure. You know, Senator Grassley is exactly right. His concern right now about that 1023 disclosure 
What did the FBI do to investigate it? Again, we know they had a scheme to downplay the derogatory information on Hunter Biden. We know they interfered in our investigation in 2020 uh, with the, the unsolicited briefing that they later leaked to smear me and affected the Wisconsin U.S. Senate race. Again, the corruption is running deep. It is pervasive. And we're probably just seeing the tip of the iceberg here. So again, let me make a plea. We need people of integrity within these agencies to come to Congress. You have every right to do so. Blow the whistle. We need the American public to see what's happening so we can fix these agencies. Yeah, but you can understand the skepticism from people watching, given the fact that it feels like the bad guys keep getting away with it, Senator. You and I lived through the Russia collusion story over and over again, and now you've got Jim Comey writing books, writing movies, giving speeches. Uh, all of them, the people who were in charge of, uh, of pursuing that lie that was Russia collusion with Trump, uh, where was the accountability there? Where's the accountability with Hunter Biden? We've been talking about his laptop and all of the corruption of uh, influence peddling in plain sight, in black and white on the laptop, and there's, there's been nothing. Well, unfortunately, Maria, there aren't many reporters like you uh, that are digging into these things that are willing to go on air and tell the truth. Most of the mainstream media are from the left. They are advocates for Democrat policies, and they're covering it up. So when you have the mainstream media complicit and compliant and corrupt, uh, you have a real hard time getting to the truth of this. But the truth is coming out. We know about Lois Lerner. We know about the corrupt Russian collusion hoax. We know now about Hunter Biden. And the first part of accountability is exposure. It's extremely important. So it, it's, it's hard. It's like pulling teeth. People that do, that do wrong, they try and cover it up. They know, they know what they've done. They know where to hide it. And so investigations are hard. They're, it's a tough, hard slog. But uh, we're, getting, we're getting more and more pieces of information, and we need more whistleblowers. All right. We'll be watching, Senator. Great to have you, as always. Thanks very much. Have a great day.